Hello and welcome to the Calculator Guide video on a common style of A-level mean and standard deviation question. The ClassWiz has a statistics mode which enables us to input a set of data and then find summary statistics on that such as the mean and standard deviation. What's becoming increasingly common in A-level maths is this style of question where you are already given some of the summary statistics such as in this example the sum of x and the sum of x squared and then asked to calculate the mean and standard deviation using those. Now unfortunately there isn't a way to input uh, pre-prepared summary statistics into the statistics mode of the class whiz and then be able to work out other information and perhaps that's the reason for setting this style of question more commonly checking that you have some understanding of how to actually calculate the mean and standard deviation rather than just inputting data into your calculator and getting the figures back. But that doesn't mean that this question is particularly difficult. We have all the information there that we need to be able to calculate the mean and standard deviation for this particular example. So we've got a survey of 80 students finding that the time in X hours per person of exercise that they completed in a week had the following results. And there we are again, we've got the sum of X and the sum of X squared given to us. And this is all we need to be able to work out the mean and standard deviation of our variable X. Now the mean, and if we're coming from GCSE, we might have learned this phrase while well, you add them up and then divide by however many there are, but let's just change that language a little bit, let's just refine it a little bit, and call it, well, the sum of the values that we have divided by the number of values. So the sum of the values is going to be the sum of x. So that's going to be this 220.8 that we have here, and then we're going to divide that by the number of values, and in this example that's 80, so it's 220.8 divided by 80 and you can do this in calculate mode on the class whiz just input that as a fraction or even a divide and just work that out and here we have our mean 2.76 so each student does an average of just over two and three quarter hours exercise per week is that enough should they be doing more perhaps that's a question uh, for another time now the mean is relatively easy to remember uh, how to do that the standard deviation is a little bit more difficult, but fortunately in A-Level you don't have to actually remember the formula to be able to do that. It is provided for you in the formula book, so let's just take a look at that now. So there's two different variations here depending on what summary statistics that we're given. We're going to use the right-hand variation of uh, this here because we can see that within the square root, the second term that we have is x bar squared. x bar is just a reference to the mean, so that's just the mean squared. And then the other term is the sum of x squared, that is basically squaring all the values that we had, and we don't have access to the actual data, but they would have been squared and then added up, summed up to produce this figure, 659.3. And that's then divided by the number of values, which is 80. So again, we can just set this up in calculate mode on our calculator to be able to work that out. So let's start with a square root, and then I'm going to start by inputting the first fraction. And the first fraction has got the sum of x squared on the top, so we know that's 659.3, and on the bottom it's got our number of values, which is 80. Just going to navigate right, and then it's subtract. Well, then it's the mean squared. Now, you can input this as the sum of x over n in brackets all squared, if you wish, but as we've already got the mean from the first part of the question, 2.76, I'm just going to use that. But don't forget we need to square this, so 2.76 squared. And there we go, and press equals. And here we have a standard deviation, so let's say 0.79 to two decimal places. So there we go, not too difficult to get those three marks if you get such a question in the A-level exam. Bear in mind that you may be given the summary statistic, uh, the sum of x minus x bar all squared, that sometimes comes in, but again, you can just use that variation of the formula if you get given that one instead. From having a look through some questions, it's generally very common to have this form of question now. That doesn't mean that they're not going to provide you with a set of data that you need to find the standard deviation of by inputting into your calculator. That could be on the next uh, exam paper that they release. But we know that we've got the class whiz there and that, that can help us with that as well. So there we go, how we can deal with this very common type of mean and standard deviation question which is asked in A-level mathematics. But that's it for this video. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time on the Calculator Guide.